So with the release of iOS 18.1, Apple finally enabled Apple Intelligence, but there is still a lot of new features that many users still want that are not here with the first batch of features rolling out with Apple Intelligence and iOS 18.1. But Apple has now confirmed 18.2 release and some of the features coming to iPhone and Apple Intelligence with 18.2. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video. So with the release of iOS 18.1, Apple also shared with us a press release for the software explaining a lot of the new capabilities coming to iPhone with Apple Intelligence and the first batch of features available on iPhone for the new Apple Intelligence capabilities. However, in this press release, Apple also mentions some key features coming to Apple Intelligence with iOS 18.2. And here's the list. We have Image Playground, which is a new application on iPhone called Playground that allows you to create custom images based on description or people that you choose. So right here it is. I've been testing the software for about a week now, and this allows you to basically type a description. So for example, if I say something like flying dog, just as an example here, let's go ahead and send that in. You see that that description will turn an image of a flying dog as you see right there and Apple Intelligent continues to create new images that you can swipe through as you can see right there and again you can also use people to create different things so you can go ahead and create a you know picture of someone with different description or theme and add it to this app and it will create the image based on the description as you see there is a picture of me with hearts and that is what that looks like so it's a really fun application to create images on your iPhone and I think many users are looking forward to this one so so Image Playground will be coming to iOS 18.2. This is confirmed coming from Apple. Now, Genmoji has also been confirmed by Apple to be coming with the next major update, 18.2. And this allows you to create custom emojis on your device itself. So you want to go into the emoji keyboard here and then tap on this new icon that appears on the right corner. And then you get the description box. And right here, you can type anything you want. So I already have a pre-typed in, you know, right there description. So I have flying turtle. And you see there that Apple intelligence with Gemoji basically creates any emoji for you. I don't think we'll ever need any more updates to the emoji keyboard with this one because this allows you to create basically any emoji on your device with a description. You can added and you can use it later obviously you can send it along and also shows up on your recent so you can use it later when you are typing on your keyboard so you can create basically an emoji on your device forever and you can use basically any description as i mentioned we may not even need additional emoji updates after ios 18.2 i really love this new gen emoji feature let me know what you think about it now chat gbt support with siri will also be coming with ios 18.2 according to apple so here under apple intelligence you'll see a new category called chat gbt you'll be able to log into your chat gbt account and this will obviously make siri more capable so for example if you're looking at a dog breed and you don't know exactly Exactly the breed you can go ahead and ask Siri what is this to answer that I'll need to use chat GPT can I send the screenshot we can send the screenshot and chat GPT will give us an answer what breed of dog this is right here as you can see right there but obviously since I'm speaking it cuts it off but yeah chat GPT and Siri integration confirmed by Apple coming with iOS 18.2 now some additional features coming to iOS 18.2 is new writing tools so we'll have the writing tools right here in the notes application but we now have additional options such as description you can describe what it is that you want to write or you can compose an entire message Apple gives you a quick description here on how to use it so let's go ahead and use that there so invitation for my birthday this saturday send that along and the writing tools for composing will ask you a few questions in regards to the event like you know the event time location and things like that so the name we're going to do that right here we're going to do my name so you can see right there and let's just do that for now you can see here that with the new writing tools it will create an entire invitation for me as you can see right there inside of the notes application that i can later send so that is going to be the new compose option available within the new writing tools on 18.2 which apple mentions will be available soon now also the description items right here allows you to describe some of the changes that you would like to make if you would like to make some changes as well so expanding the writing tools on ios 18.2 according to Apple with this next major update. Now something else coming is visual intelligence. Now visual intelligence is a new feature only available on the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro line. This allows you to long press on the new camera controls right here and this brings up a new UI which allows you to take a picture of something for example these AirPods here 
and you can do a Google search or find a description using ChatGPT. So we can do a Google search here just like so. And you can see there I get more information in regards to the product where again, I can just go ahead and ask for a description by asking right here, as you can see, and I can follow up as well with ChatGPT if I wish to do so later on. So yeah, really cool features available with the visual intelligence are also coming with 18.2. Now, one thing that I also want to talk about is image one, and this basically turns a rough sketch into a full image inside of the notes application. Apple mentions that this will be available with iOS 18.2 as well, and Apple intelligence will be available on these new languages come the month of December. So Apple has basically confirmed that in December, iOS 18.2 will be available for iPhone users with all those new capabilities coming to Apple intelligence. Now, my best guess for the official release date for iOS 18.2 is going to be on Monday, December the 9th or Monday, December the 16th. Keep in mind that after that, Apple goes on a holiday break here in the US for Christmas and New Year's. So the last day I think Apple could release 18.2 would be December the 16th. But my money, my money is on December the 9th. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, we're about a month and a half from iOS 18.2 and some additional capabilities coming to iPhone with Apple intelligence. Let me know if you're excited for these new Apple intelligent capabilities. Again, Apple confirming coming in December. And I think it's really exciting time for Apple Apple intelligence and those customers that really love some of these new capabilities. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.